Right, on YouTube. So today we're in Zion Canyon. So we'll check this out. Already you notice there's a lot more green in here than there is in Bryce. super cold again at night it drops to like 2 celsius 40 fahrenheit um, but I'm doing okay I bought like a really sort of blanket that packs down pretty small so I should be able to um, get it in my bag um, and that made all the difference I was fine with that over me with my sleeping bag and my silk sleeping bag liner so at least I know I'm okay for not getting too cold even at 2 celsius I'm probably not going to be camping in them conditions again it's just the height we're at and it's getting a bit later in the year when I'm heading towards California it's not going to be an issue but this is cool I like it now there's a bit, I've got a little bit of debate going with um, a couple of friends that I made from Tennessee, Jim and Deb. They're gonna be, I'm going to be put on the spot because Jim prefers Bryce and Deb prefers Zion. So, and I'm in contact with them and I let them know I went to, Br to Bryce yesterday and I preferred it to the Grand Canyon. Um, and this, I am liking this at the moment, so we'll see, it's going to be a difficult one. I think it just looked just that little bit different, just because of all the, you've got that much more green growing. So we'll see. As I go, get off and do a little bit of hiking. So tomorrow I'll head into Vegas and do a couple of nights in a hotel just because it's cheap for me to do a hotel in Vegas. I mean they just want you there gambling so the hotel prices are cheap. It means I can just catch up with a few things, get a few videos downloaded. And then, uh, then it's a long haul then up to Redwood. No, I want to do Pacific Coast Highway, but I've heard some of it is unrideable because of damage done to it in some storms. I'm not sure whether it's storms or earthquakes, I'm not quite sure what happened, but I know some of it's not passable. So I'll just have to uh, adjust my route once I come across them sections. This is going to be a difficult call. I'm going to pull, I'll pull in there on the way back, it'll be easier to do that coming back. So I've got an annual pass now which has saved me a few quid and unbelievably I thought I'd lost my Yellowstone um, receipt but I had it in my this jacket you can zip in a thermal 
layer and I'd zipped that in at Yellowstone and forgot it was in there and I paid the full 80 when I could have had $25 off for that. I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything about that now, but that's a pity. It's still going to save me a few quid getting an annual pass with doing Redwood, Sequoia, maybe Yosemite, I'll see. This is definitely a nicer ride than Bryce. You can see more from the road at Bryce and the same with the Grand Canyon. You can't see anything from the road. You've got to get off and go to the viewpoints. But it was pointless me videoing on the bike because all, all you got is just tree lined roads. So this um, aspect of just riding through this is great. And I will probably, if I get up early, and I don't know what time this opens, because I can come this way to get to Vegas, but I don't know if it's the quickest way. But I can come through this way. got delayed a bit because I had a big breakfast and it was busy and one of the staff members never turned up so it was one girl on her own. That's good, it meant it's a bit warmer now. It's warmer to now than it has been. It's less cloud. Okay, we've got a cool tunnel to go through by the looks of it. I'll have to pull my sunglasses down a bit. This is pretty crazy and they must have cut this out. lights of rubbish on this bike. I'm gonna have to do something about that when I get back there. It's just so yellow. Right, I'll definitely stop there on the way back, get a photo. I mean, the colours in the rocks are more amazing at Bryce than here. It's going to be a real tough call, this. They're so different. This is a lot like some of the roads I ride on in the, around Colorado Springs.
those I expect when I get off and uh, do some hiking. I still haven't sorted out where I'm going to stay in San Diego yet. I've saved a few possible places. I've still got to sort out my number plate when it runs out, which is the 28th. And try and get that extended. way more from the road which is cool right I'm gonna shut off when I'm stuck in this traffic so we're going through another tunnel so I'm gonna film it Probably gonna have to pull my sunglasses down a bit. You always gotta rev your bike through tunnels just because it sounds cool.
Right, I'm going to shut off. I'm going to do a bit more filming because it is quite cool filming on the bike compared to the others. I need to stop and get rid of some of my kit. I'm going to put in here. There's stacks of bikers around this morning as well. Right, I stopped for a little bit to let the traffic get out of the way so I could uh, video a bit more unhindered. I mean, videoing on the bike is, is cool in, in here for sure. I'm going to make Jim and Deb wait for my verdict right to the end of the video. Unbelievable difference though. Of, I don't know, 50, 60 miles between the two and this is so much greener and I'm guessing the elevation of this is lower I'm not sure what it is but this must be lower it's definitely warmer in here today it wasn't Bryce I'm loving riding on this road Especially now I've let the traffic go a bit. In my guessing, no, I'm not going to say it yet. Why? Jim maybe prefers one to the other. Another cool place to cycle through. I haven't seen anyone cycling through yet, but it would be good. need to stop and take a load of photos as well because I'm getting this all on video
above my screen. It's a pain because I would take that off when I was coming through these places, but I can't because my amp is in there. And I can't sort that out till I get home. Or I maybe could sort it out in San Diego. All I need is a piece of metal and a file to make up a bracket. It's busier in here than it was in Bryce. Maybe because there's less hiking to see a lot of cool stuff. I hiked a lot yesterday, I must have done about 8 miles of hiking yesterday. When my legs are okay, it was good, I'm glad there's a bit of exercise, my body's missing exercise. Going from riding 300 miles a week to nothing is not good. should have really tent camped in here for one night. Like the, the greenery and stuff, which you don't have at Bryce. So 
if I have to choose one, I mean they're both awesome, um, it's going to be Zion, so there you go. I'll, um, I'll video again now when I uh, get nearer Vegas. I'm all togged up again because this cold dropped to like 2 Celsius. So anyway guys, catch you later.